thank you for clicking on this video hope it's gonna help and hope you're gonna learn something from it so in this video i want to talk about bricklaying why did i choose this trade uh, why why i like this job it's how to say it how did, did i end up being a bricklayer well i'm not a good one but i do try my best to make everything right and never get sacked uh, it's, well, it's what you want to do as well Anna. you don't want to have any problems and if you learn this trade you want to learn it the right way not the bad way so start this bricklayer's job six years ago six or seven years ago i can't really remember i start as a labor i work two two years and a bit as a labor and then i get my hand on the trowel and I start learning and pick things up. I work with a few bricklayers which to be honest they were really good and I did watch them how they work and I bring questions forward and I really was keen to learn it. It's you have to be keen and they always they said to me Rhyme if you watch this it's for you they always said to me don't follow the money if you follow the money you ain't gonna end up doing nothing in a few years time you're gonna be just a line monkey or you're gonna be just a waste of time so if you want to do this bricklayer's job you have to love it you have to love what you're doing and you have to enjoy it so i listened i have i had a few attempts of living i stayed and i listened to the bricklayers i listened to their advices and i learned it but how did i learn it with them, I didn't have much time. You had to work, 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 and keep up with them, keep up with the loading out, pointing, and all these things. So how did I start? I start by cutting time off my break. And in the morning, if you get on site, it's just look at the drawing. Maybe you don't know not much about it, but just look at it. And you'll, if you stay long, a long time with a gang of bricklayers, you'll see how they start things. and how they do things and how they get over like get over things because mistakes the mistakes are there it's nothing's perfect so you have to learn how to get over things how did i start like i said i cut time off my break i come early in the morning finish a bit late in the evening and when the bricklayers go for break i just take a trowel take a break learn how to perfect lay a few bricks on the line I couldn't even fucking lift the line up I didn't know nothing I didn't know a scaffold plank is it's yeah I did learn everything from bottom but yeah I start by perping the brick and you can do that every day it's it, it's it's quite easy all you need is a bucket to mark a trowel and you can just practice by perping the brick Laying the beds, I mean, it's, it's not hard, but it does help because if you put too much mark, you're gonna struggle to put the brick down or the block down. But if you put less mark, then you have to take the brick or take the block out and lay it again. So, to lay the bed, I think the best practice is when you go to the silo to put a tub on or to the mixer to make a mix, take the trowel and just practice practice and practice take the mark spin it take the mark spin it take the mark and lay it just play with the trowel and your hand will get used to it if you play with the trowel your hand will get used to it but you you have to learn it you have to learn it you have to be keen to learn if you chase the money i don't know what to say i, I never chased the money i started this job with i don't know 60 quid a day and this was in 2016. matey was paying me 60 quid a day my first pay rise was a five quid after two weeks and I did pay for my own fuel and I still do pay for everything yeah so I did start at 60 quid a day my first pay rise was five quid so 65 quid a day and I was driving here there and everywhere and I had to pay for my own fuel as well so yeah but I did want to learn the trade I did want to learn brick length and it was hard I made it now if you look if I look on the site where I'm going to do footings I can see that the bricklayers are more relaxed I'm doing houses and other bits 
It wasn't like that days ago, like years ago, but now it's more relaxed and I think it'll give you more time about learning. Uh, I do like footings because the footing stays there. The footing will be there for years and years and years. And every time I walk aside that I was on, I just, you just feel good. You feel good because you know you left something good there. You left a good job, you've done a good job and it's something behind you. Uh, yeah, you don't always see that. I do, I do mess things up, but not bad. I can get over things and that, but when you to be a line monkey, like to be on the line and lay a few bricks and a few blocks, it won't take you long. It's a few weeks or let's say a few months to be quick and that. But to be a good bricklayer, you have every brick you lay or every block you lay, you have to think like it's for yourself. It's your house, you're building your own house. So when you lay that brick, or when you lay the van, uh, the, vans, the block, sorry, think is for your own house so do you want to do it bad in a bad way or in a good way i think you'll go for the good way and if you do it the good way and you always work hard i think you always have work at the minute we do have work things have slowed down but we still have work and since i started bricklaying i never stopped except my holidays but i never stopped i always I've always been busy doing footings and houses. Uh, first time I was on houses, uh, then I jump on the footings and I just I stay in footings. It's hard, it's muddy. Look, it is muddy, it is wet. Winter time is the worst and it's bad as well when the ground workers they don't help you. To be honest, on this job, Man, they perfect. It's the best ground workers firm that we ever work for. It's they they try to help you with everything. Well, they should give us a bit more room up around the footings, but everything is fine. The footings are within 10 mil. The engineer is here to help you. The digger drivers, if you ask them to bring you the stuff, they'll bring it straight away. Well, we choose to do a bricklaying and site work. I do private jobs, I've done a few private jobs, so I don't really, I'm a big fan of them. Unless if I have like big projects, like get a house from the concrete to the roof, it's but extension and that, they're not for me. Well, I won't say no, but I do like to work on site. It's nice, it's relaxing, and every, every day it's something new. So, yeah, what else can I say? If you want to do bricklaying and if you want to do footings if you want to earn good money or be a good bricklayer and that it's it looks hard for start but it's all it's all on you you can do it i made it i didn't know nothing man i when i start bricklaying i said to you i didn't know what a scaffold board is and i didn't know how to to gauge things and use i, I didn't know nothing the first thing they teach me to do was loading out and I mean loading out it's not it's not like you load out a plot in a day you have to do like three four five plots in a day that was loading out it's not like now you do two packs of bricks and that's it the day is gone uh, I did push myself because uh, I knew if if I do this thing something good will come up and if I do that thing something else will come up and if you you don't do it for them you do it for you so if you load out i don't know a pack of bricks in 30 minutes you don't do it for them you'll do it for yourself you can prove to yourself that you're good and you can do the job and when the time comes when you're gonna be a bricklayer you can just turn around to the labor and go mad because you've done it and you know how it's like and you know how easy it is to do things and how to go through things this is what some people don't understand yet. if you get into this trade and you learn it and you end up like knowing things to call, build corners, read drawings and this if someone gives you a job or let's say you're looking for a job and they don't pay you like the top wage I'll say take it take it because by 
climbing step by step you're gonna end up being high but if you want to jump over steps you're gonna fall down I've seen it I've seen it in many places but I've we did have a few labors and I said to that guy Brad if you watch this I don't think you will but it's for you I say mate you're a good lad you're a good bricklayer you've been college I say you can learn this trade this this trade in I don't know I said to him in a few months I say you can be on 200 quid a day and in a few months it's all up to you and he ends up being sacked four times by the same company it's I don't know what he's doing now so this is the people that you're dealing with it's I don't know what to say really it's you need to push yourself if you want to be a bricklayer you have to ask yourself why do you chase the money or do you chase the bricklayer's work? To be honest, I like the money as well because that's why we are here working. But you should like the work as well. You should enjoy when you lay every every brick or every lintel or every block. You should enjoy it. I know we had we have hard days when you say, fuck this, fuck that, I wanna quit, I wanna do something else, but you're never gonna do it. You're gonna stick with the bricklayers trade. Because it's something good, it's something that stays there. If you are a plaster, well, no offense, I got nothing nothing against them. I wish I could have do plaster, but I can't. If you are a plaster, plumber, or anything. It's, I don't know, it's bricklayer is different. Look, all those footings, they'll be here for years. And they really look good, They within 10 mil, we did take our time but look they they're gonna stay here I don't say this brickwork is perfect but as remember if you say to yourself oh, I'm gonna do it later and later and later like next year oh, I'm gonna learn it I'll say to you something don't leave for tomorrow what you can do today so learn it if you're young it's better for you because your mind is free and learn to trade be a bricklayer and don't moan well you're gonna moan every day but don't really moan for start uh, don't know what really else i can say it's that's it i think i did start as a labor 60 quid a day i had my own gang after two two three years i've done footing since then and now I'm not my own boss, I still work for someone who gives us work, but I enjoy it. Do you want to do the same? Just pick up a trowel and learn it. It's, it's, all about, it's all about you. If you want to learn it, learn it. If, if you follow the money, you ain't going to make it. Uh, there. They'll be there for years. For years, they're going to stay there. And if I ever gonna drive this road, I can say to my baby, I build them footings. Or if you do houses, I build them houses. So I don't know, man, it's hard to explain. Everyone have different mindsets and it's, I don't know really, it's totally up to you. And being on this YouTube thing, it just clicked in my head because I did try to help a few guys on site, like train them to lay bricks and nobody gave me a fucking troll in my hand, I had to pick it up and I did try to learn them and they was a waste of time so if this thing's on YouTube or wherever I'm posting these things is gonna help someone 1% I'm happy it's all I want, if this video is gonna help someone like 1% give him an idea or help him with a trick or something I'm done, I'm, I'm really happy but as I said it's many kids out there or many people who oh, if I'm a bricklayer I'm gonna earn 250 a day well if you're a bricklayer you can end up end up earning 500 quid a day but don't chase the money, learn the trade and learn it right because in a few years time we, we, we're gonna end up building houses like that one uh, I don't want to take a video of that, it's really bad, but I did walk around some sites and there are bricklayers 
man they need they they really really good and I'm down there I still got loads to learn but I'm learning every day and I want to keep learning and I want to do this trade do you want to do this pick up the trowel and learn it it's all I can say thank you guys hope I didn't talk too much I really find it really hard to talk with the phone but hope it will help thank you for watching